Hello everybody, welcome back to today's video. My name is Noodles. Today we're going to be checking out how to install or how to run build tools on Windows. Build tools, build tools is used to compile Spigot MC, um, the way that most servers use it these days. It's used to compile it and allow it to um, you to get the Spigot jar legally. If you any of those online downloads, they could have issues with them, they could be viruses, or they could not have the right code. Build tools is the only legal way you can get the jar, and it's the way you have to do it. So please make sure to follow that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start this. First, you will need Git for Windows. It's um, available online at gitforwindows.org. All these links will be down in the description. You need this. This is going to allow you to build the jar. So you want to click download I already have it installed but you would go through your normal installing and that's how you do it then you're gonna to need to go to your uh, this link which I'll also leave in the description that will automatically download the newest build tools jar to your computer it will appear like this in the chat it's gonna say build tools jar it's automatically gonna download when you go to the page you're gonna go ahead and open up a or create a new folder name it something it doesn't matter and you're gonna put that jar in there you're gonna right click once you install git it's gonna you're gonna have these two new options here it's gonna say get back here or get UI you're gonna hit get back here just like that and it's so in order to do versions for example we're gonna run the latest version but if you wanted here's an example so let's start with just the typical what you would normally type for any jar you're gonna do Java jar build tools dot jar dot dot rev this is where everything's gonna change for depending on the version you want to do if you want the latest version the latest stable version which in this case is 1.13.2 you would put latest if you want the dev version of 1.14 you would put 1.14 if you want 1.13.2 you would do 1.13.2 in our case we're gonna go with the latest but it's a lot of people because they use 1.8 well I'll show you how to put that so it's gonna be 1.8.8 1.8.7 or just 1.8 for the default 1.8 but in this tutorial we're going to be compiling the latest version then all you got to do is hit enter and it's gonna start this is going to take some time this can take up to probably about 20 minutes depending on your internet speed and depending on the system you have it's gonna go through a lot of things but I'm just gonna keep both windows open so you can see what it's doing and what it's what's happening while this is doing it, it also installs the source code for you. It also downloads the source code of Bucket and Spigot and Craft Bucket and all of it. So you're going to be able to have all the source code as well. There's not really a use of this unless you're a developer. Mostly people are doing this to get the Spigot jar. But there, you can see here it does provide the source code. And I'll show you about that in a minute once it's fu fully installed. You can see the source is here and you can see, see all the... Uh, source of everything is here and like it's not the source of like everything but it will download it and it's gonna create all the jars and stuff you need I'll show you how um, you can run it and all later but that's in a different video down the road right now it's just watching this and we're gonna see what happens it's gonna take a little time it's gonna go through a bunch of steps here it does take some time because it's technically downloading and putting together the spigot jar inside of your own computer sends the DMCA on spigot I'll also leave the thread down there that's why you're not allowed to download any copies of spigot you get off the internet this is why it's like a main thing you can't download um, it off the internet you have to compile it yourself for it to be anywhere close to legal for you to use um, there's not really a choice about that but um yeah so that's how it works so yes So yes, it's just going to keep downloading and there's really nothing we can do except for wait right now. So it's just going to keep downloading. It's decompiling and compiling all the classes that are possibly needed. Well, that are needed to run Spigot. This does take time. Like I said, it could take up to 20 minutes to 30 minutes depending on your system. Now you can see it's compiling Bucket, which is like the basics of everything. 
bucket was originally made quite a while ago and it was um it, you, i won't recommend using craft bucket or bucket anymore i recommend only using spigot so now it's going to start compiling all of the jars via the source it's already downloaded into your build tools folder over here you can see you have a bunch of stuff over here now you got all this you got craft bucket you got bucket you're gonna leave all this alone you really don't need this right now there's nothing you can do about it it's it's gonna keep compiling you can see all the patches in here just ignore all those you don't need them right now those won't be necessary to you unless you're a developer and you want to look at everything it's not useful it has to download it for it to install it don't delete anything we're at the point where it's applying all the patches which i just showed you in those folders took the craft bucket jar to compile the spigot server jar so that's what it's doing right now it's compiling and cloning the jar and it's going to apply the patches to it so it's able to create the spigot.jar, which we're all used to in our servers. You can see it's compiling and everything is almost done. So this, for me, doesn't take that long because I have a fast internet. It's easy and it goes quickly. Some people's computers may take longer. I recommend running this. Um, you can run it on your dedicated server or whatever server you're using. It can be run on a VPS. It can be run on um, Linux. It can be run on Mac and it can be run on Windows. For this example, I'm running it on Windows because I find that the easiest other than pulling up like an entire thing on my VPS and everything. I find this way easier to download type one command and shade everything in. I use it for most of my plugins. It's highly easy to do. So it's going to go ahead and do all this. It's going to download all the classes, find everything. And there we go. It has success. Everything compiled correctly. Copying the final jar to files now. It copied it. It copied craft bucket and spigot to that URL. So here we go. I don't, this is outdated. Don't use it. I'm telling you now, right when this craft bucket 1.13.2 pops up, delete it. You don't need it. All you need is a spigot 1.13.2 jar. That's all you need. This will work to start up your spigot server now. Same jar you get if you download it off the internet, but the off the internet stuff is illegal and couldn't contain stuff. So this is the official jar and that's how you compile it on your Windows PC. It took me seven minutes from the start to finish. I know it's easier to go online and download stuff, but please don't do it. Make sure you compile it correctly. It's so much easier to do and it's so much more useful compared to downloading it off the internet. This is highly recommended that you do this way and not any other third party tool will do it. Thank you so much for watching today's tutorial. If you have a suggestion for a future tutorial, make sure to leave them in the comments. If you have issues with build tools compiling, please check the wiki I linked in the description. And if you still have questions with it, go ahead and join our Discord server. We can go ahead and help you out. The link's in the description and on our website on bghdevelopment.com. Have a great day, everybody. My name is Noodles, and I'll see you in the next tutorial, most likely tomorrow. Goodbye.